Mad Troopers. We are back for another episode of Saturday Set Review. Today is Saturday, September 14th, 2023. And today we're going to take a look at set number 75902, The Mystery Machine. This set contains 301 pieces. It was released in the year 2015. The original retail price was $29.99. You can find it over on eBay right now, anywhere from $124 and up for a used set. $130 for a new set, still in the box. Over on Amazon, you can find it for $274.99, brand new, still in the box. This set comes with four minifigures, Scooby-Doo, of course, because what set wouldn't be complete without a Scooby-Doo, and his best friend, Shaggy. It also contains the only Fred that was released in these Scooby-Doo sets. And the fourth minifigure is a zombie. And if you're like me and you want to include that tree as a character in this set, and also as one of the minifigures, it would actually come with five figures there. But the tree is actually a build, and it is a scary tree that comes alive and chases our gang. But as always, our sluice will solve the mystery. With all that being said, let's go ahead and take a look at our minifigures. My favorite cartoon character of all time right here, Scooby-Doo. I am so happy that Lego made a minifigure out of him and his gang. He is different from the other Scooby-Doos that I have in my other sets, and I'll show you why here in just a second. But first, let's take a look at the front view. He just has his cartoon eyes with the black nose, the blue collar with the Scooby-Doo, the SD there on the collar. And the collar tag is framed in gold. This is one of the things that makes him different from the other Scooby-Doos in the set. You can see that on the side of his face, the left side of his face right there, he has a shivering grin going up the side of his cheek. Where the one in front does not have that grin. Also on his left side, you can see his signature spots. Same with the right side, he has his signature spots, but you notice he does not have that shivering grin on the right hand side of his cheek. Nothing special on the backside, just his tail. And then you can clearly see that beautiful blue collar. And here's a close-up look at that Scooby-Doo collar. It is absolutely beautiful, the way they printed that on there. This Scooby-Doo does come in two pieces. His head comes off. And like some of the other Scooby-Doo's found in other sets, he does come with that right paw standing up. And now let's move on from Scooby-Doo over to his best friend, Shaggy. Shaggy is wearing his iconic costume there with the brownish-red pants the lime green v-neck shirt. He has light brown hair on a beige face with open eyes, a tiny open mouth smile with a little bit of a goatee there at the bottom. He does come with two printed on faces. This is his sad face and back to his happy face. He is holding a newspaper, which we'll get into here in just a minute. But first, let's take a look at his left and right sides, which hold no special detailing. The back of his deep, the back of his torso only has a little bit of detailing in it with those two creases there drawn in on the back of his shirt. Shaggy is holding a newspaper here and he has an extra piece of paper or a photo paper clip to the newspaper. And the newspaper is called the Daily Babbler. And the main story on the front page is about a tree that comes alive. Boo, I am a tree that comes alive. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, obviously not my best impression, so let's move on here. Another great character in the Scooby-Doo collection. This is the only set that I have found him with. The Mystery Machine, set 75902. You can see that Fred is wearing his iconic costume here. He has the blue pants, the white sweater or white overshirt with the blue shirt collared underneath, and then he has the scarf wrapped around his neck and tucked out the front of the shirt. He has his blonde yellow hair. He has a beige face with two printed sides. So obviously this is his I found something interesting face. And this is his face that says, I don't like what I found. Fred comes with this beautiful magnifying glass here that actually works a little bit, I'll show you. You can see when you hold it up to Fred's face or some lettering, it actually works as a magnifying glass. That is pretty cool. Fred's left and right sides hold no special detailing. And on the back of his torso, we just get a glimpse of that blue shirt that he wears underneath his sweater. Now there were only seven sets of Scooby-Doo released in 2015. And the only Fred you can get came with set 75902, The Mystery Machine. But we will get to The Mystery Machine in a little bit. But first, let's take a look at the main villain in this set. This is the zombie minifigure that comes with this set. And what I find very cool about this minifigure is in all the other Scooby-Doo sets that contained a villain, they had two printed on faces. One was their villain face, and the other would be their face when they are unmasked. So let's go ahead and take a look at the zombie's two faces here, or actually the two printed sides, I should say. On the first printed side, you have the zombie scary face. Ooh, but on the back, it's just a line with two buttons. Now I'm guessing that's maybe like a zipper with two buttons where he wrapped the face or wrapped the mask around his face and his real face would be underneath that. But that being said, that makes him the only villain that came out with the Scooby-Doo sets that does not have two faces printed on each side. So maybe this time he was actually a real zombie. Who knows? 
His skin tone is a light green, which is great for a zombie. You can see on the front of his face, he has orange eyes with an open mouth and some wrinkles. He has a darker green torn up jacket with a light gray torn up shirt underneath. It looks like he is wearing a brown belt and he has brown pants. His left and right side hold no special detailing. One of my favorite things is when they put the detailing on the back and they did a little bit of detailing here on the back of his torso with some lines representing creases in his jacket. And then of course, what looks like to be two buttons and a zipper there on the back of his head. All in all, he makes a nice little villain to the set. I am a little biased, so I'm hoping that Lego releases some more Scooby-Doo sets here in the future. So that's our fourth minifigure. Let's go ahead and take a look at our fifth character, as I'd like to call him. This is the tree that came alive. You can see he has green eyes inside of his bark, an open mouth, two arms that can spread out and the hands do turn, along with the top of his head with what looks like to be horns, do move up and down. So he does have a little bit of movement and posability. That face is just terrifying. I absolutely love it. The detailing on the left and right side is only in the dimensions of the pieces there, what pops out at you. Over on his backside is where this little guy comes in. You can see that he is targeting the mystery machine there. I love that sticker. They have the mystery machine in the sticker. I wish I would have got it on a little more straight. I actually try to take pride in putting those stickers on straight. Uh, that one, it seems like I messed up on a little bit. And it has this beautiful yellow gem there that gives it its power, I'm guessing. And that's his computer where he controls the tree to make it look like the tree came alive to terrorize the town. It looks cartoony. It looks very Scooby-Doo-ish. I absolutely love that they included this tree in the set. And now for the main attraction, ain't she just beautiful? Look at those colors. Those are the colors of the mystery machine. And look how they pop out at you. Look at those rims on the tires, everything. The green color, the blue waves underneath, the orange and the blue and the green just really go together with this vehicle. I absolutely love it. So this is the right side of the mystery machine here. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front. Absolutely gorgeous. The detailing that went into this was just absolutely perfect. Kudos to the designers. Absolutely beautiful, wonderful job here. The left side of the mystery machine looks just about the same as the right. It is not a swinging door on this one. You have to actually pull the door off right there, but it easily connects back into its spot. In order to get inside the mystery machine, you have to take off the top roof and open up the side panel there. I'll show you that in just a sec. Actually turns into a little bit of a play set, which is really cool. Now, no big detailing on the back, and I'm a little sad there's no license plate, but I actually don't know if there is a license plate on the mystery machine. I'm going to have to go back and take a look at some of the cartoons, one of the things I might have missed. Let's go ahead and open her up and take a look inside. So the first thing we're going to do is pop off the roof and open up her panels. Ah! It is absolutely fantastic inside the back of this minivan. They use as much of the space as possible with some beautiful detail. Let's take a look. So once you open the left panel up, you can see that there is a sticker that you have to put on the wall there. And it's just the paperwork, the clipboard, pictures and stuff like that. Notes that they have for their current mystery or mysteries to come. Same with over on the right side, you put the sticker in there. It is not printed on. You do have to put the sticker on. It comes with a couple more Polaroid pictures and some more notes and a picture of who they might be looking for. Hanging up on the back wall there behind the driver's seat, you can see that there is a flashlight, a little black flashlight with a white clear piece on top to represent the light. And over on the top right is a camera with another clear piece on it to represent a lens. First, we have on the left what looks to be a stove, I'm guessing, with those orange burners on it. But you can see over on the left-hand side was the stove that they used to, to make their sandwich. And then you can see that there's a sink over to the right. Let's take a look at the two computer screens now. The monitor of screen one here has danger written on it with alert. And it looks like the suspect they are looking for has been located. On the end of the monitor, it looks like they have active radar. That's great. And it is beeping two orange spots right there. So they have located something. On the back here, they have a tape recorder. I'm glad that they went old school on this. There's just a top view of the mystery machine. They even have a little bit of a detailed piece here, which is a stick on piece, not printed on. Looks like a radio with speakers or car vents. Well, I love it when they add a little extra detail like that. And then there's the double ducker sandwich they were making. It looks like they have their made a square. So it's the square represents bread. Looks like they have some lettuce and cheese and then some tomatoes underneath. Now, the only thing missing out of all of these Scooby-Doo sets was a box of Scooby Snacks. I am actually a little disappointed that I didn't see a little square peg with Scooby Snacks written on it. Would have been so easy. Would have been something nice to include. Please, Lego, if you are going to make another series of Scooby-Doo sets, please include a box of Scooby Snacks. That would be so cool. All right, now moving on before we give our last looks and review, we're going to take a look at the parts page. As always, pause on the page, write down the part number you need and the quantity. Don't forget that quantity.
here is page two of the parts page. You can go to lego.com, type in set number 75902 to find out more. Please remember that not all parts may be in stock and some of them may even be discontinued. Now we're going to move into the reviews and last looks and I have to admit it has been really hard for me not to just give every Lego set I have so far a five. We've already seen some Pirates of the Caribbean, some regular Pirates themed sets, and they're all beautiful. That Brick Bounty and the Black Pearl, those are beautiful five out of fives. Now I am a little biased. I would like to give every Scooby-Doo set a five out of five. But this one I'm really torn on just for the simple fact that you get Fred with this set and the Mystery Machine. The Mystery Machine is its own character in the show. So the fact that it sits in a set really changes my rating. I was thinking about giving it a four or 4.5 out of five but I keep getting drawn back to the fact that this is the only set that comes with Fred and the Mystery Machine. So I'm gonna have to give this set a five out of five just for that right there. You get a unique Scooby-Doo with that shivering grin on his face. The Shaggy, you get in other sets. The Zombie and the Tree are unique to this set, but so is Fred and the Mystery Machine. So just to recap, this is gonna get a five out of five dollar signs for your money here. This is an absolutely beautiful set. And the set number is 75902, The Mystery Machine. It came with 301 pieces, was released in the year 2015, had an original retail price of $29.99, which was a great price for this set. As of the day of the release of this video, you can find it over on eBay for $124 and above for a used set. Some of them had missing pieces. Or you could pay $130 for a sealed in box set. Over on Amazon, I found it for $274.99 still in the box. And again, it came with the four minifigures and that tree if you want to include it as a fifth character. And why not even include the mystery machine as a sixth character? Because you know it's iconic and a character within itself. Thank you so much for watching. You are greatly appreciated. Have a great rest of your day and a better tomorrow. Please click subscribe, trip over that like button, and remember, never stop tripping.